Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Google Meet app on your iPad if it is not already on there yet. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into this app right here called Self Service. This app is where we get all of our apps that we download. And right over here, you want to click search the magnifying glass and you want to search for Google Meet up here at the top and you'll see this come up it's called hangouts meet by google if you tap that there it'll tell you a little bit more about the app and you're going to hit right here install mine says reinstall since i've already installed it once you press that it should start downloading right away if for any reason it doesn't download right away then um, you can always try restarting your ipad and see if it downloads then now you should have Google Meet on your iPad. And one thing I would recommend is actually grabbing it and pulling it down here. Uh, so that goes right on the bar down here so that you have it always at your fingertips to use since you'll be using it pretty often. And that's a great place to use the most frequently used apps. Uh, so let's go ahead and click into it. Say continue. It's going to ask if it can access your camera. You need to say okay for this. And same with the microphone, say okay so that the app works correctly. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, for signing in, it may already recognize your Google account, just like mine popped up here. If it does not recognize your Google account when you sign in, you are going to want to uh, follow this example here. So say, for example, that I was a third grade student and uh, my ID was 30123, just as example. My username would be 30 Gerber A at fairviewschools.org. So you can see it starts with that two digit graduation year. My last name and first initial. Password is capital F, lowercase sd, hashtag, and then student ID. That student ID can actually be found on the back of uh, the iPad. It's on a white piece of paper um, that has the student name as well on there. Now, um, the pattern of this you can see here, fourth graders will typically begin with 2-9, third grade with 30, second grade with 31, first grade with 32, and kindergarten with 33. Um, keep in mind that that could change if they uh, either repeated or jumped ahead a year. It's also going to be different if there are two students with the same last name and first initial, for instance, twins, um, then they'll actually use their entire first name as well um, instead of just their first initial. So now signing in. Okay, now that we're inside the Google Meet app, I just want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first off here, you will see there is a mute button. So when I tap that, you can see my microphone is off there. The mute button is really important to make sure that you're pressing that before you go into a Google Meet, um, especially if there's a lot of background noise. Um, sometimes there can just be feedback, so you want to make sure that that is muted before you go in, um, and your teacher will ask you when it's, or tell you when it's time to unmute it. The next one right here is your camera, so looks just like this. You can still hear me, but uh, my camera is off. Okay, so uh, when your teacher gives you uh, a code or a link, if you could click on the link, it will automatically go right to the app and open you right up here um, that you won't have to do much else. If they do give you a code, um, you would press meeting code here and you can either type or paste that in. So there's a couple different ways to go in. Uh, so I'm going to show you now here. I'm going to go ahead and sign into um, a Google Meet. Okay, so I'm in. Here I am. Uh, so in my Google Meet here, you can see there's the mute and there is the video button at the bottom. The only difference is there's a red phone that I can hang up uh, the call when I'm done. And 
the two most important things I want to point out here, right at the very top, see this people icon here. When I tap that, that shows you all of the people that are in the call. And uh, it may be switching back and forth uh, to whoever is the loudest, whoever's talking. Uh, so one really important trick, if you want to pin it on one person that's talking, say your teacher's sharing a lesson or reading a story or one of your classmates is sharing and you want to see just them, if you tap on that person, so see how I have a push pin on me, that's because I am pinned. And when I unpin it, see how it went right to my son, to Dave Gerber here. Uh, so if I click back on me again, see that push pin popped up now it is um, pinned on me again so I am filling up the screen uh, the other important one right at the top this little uh, whoops this little talking bubble here when you tap on that that is actually the chat box so you can uh, type right in here any messages remember to use this appropriately though we want to wait until our teacher asks us to share a response we definitely don't just want to type random messages out because everyone is seeing it so uh, we want to use it the right way so um, and those are the two most important features there that you want to see and if that bar is sticking out you could just tap back on your ipad screen and it'll make that bar just uh slide back over again um, so you can see your full screen here so that is the basics of google meet